I'm Matthew, and this is Two Minutes Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. I have a project coming up that needs a bunch of durable, wear-resistant parts, so nylon is my 3D printing material of choice. Now, nylon can be a little bit tricky to print with, so here are my top tips to get successful prints. Nylon prints hot, both on the hot end and on the bed. So if you have a Teflon tube in your hot end, I recommend switching it out for an all-metal one. Now, because you're looking at around 260 degrees for printing nylon, you could get away with a high temperature Teflon, but I've tried that in the past and it hasn't worked for me, so I really don't recommend doing it. Nylon is extremely hygroscopic, which means that it absorbs water, and this will lead to problems in both printing and material properties. You need to dry your filament every time you print, even if it's fresh out of the bag. Typically drying at 70 degrees Celsius for 12 hours has been sufficient for me to dry out my nylon, but the last filament that I bought, it took over 24 hours to get it fully dried, so you just never know what you're gonna have. You can use an oven or a dehydrator to dry out your filaments, which is what I've done in the past, but just recently I switched over to using an actual filament dryer. This here is a fixed dry double spool filament dryer. Full disclosure, they sent it to me for free to try out. The thing that I like about filament dryers is that you can print straight out of them while the material is still hot. This is how commercial nylon printers work, and I find that's how I get the best quality prints. Last main issue with nylon is that it warps, and I have three things that can help with that. First, you want a really good print surface. Nylon can be tricky to adhere to the bed, but G10, also known by its brand name Garolite, is a great surface, and you can buy a sheet pretty cheap. It also works with most other filaments. Second, most nylon filament is nylon six, but if you pay a little bit more, you can get nylon 12, and that doesn't warp as bad, and it's less hygroscopic, so it doesn't absorb as much water. Filaments with additives will also help with warping, and they also increase stiffness. While you are switching out for that all metal hot end, you can also change your nozzle to something like hardened steel, vanadium, or ruby tipped, and that's gonna be able to withstand the abrasiveness of the additives like carbon fiber or glass. One final note, enclosures can help with printing nylon, but I find if you're not in an area that has a cross breeze or something like that, that it's not really essential. If you do wanna use one, honestly, a cardboard box works fine, and if you have an Amazon addiction like I do, it's basically free. Just make sure that your electronics are outside of the enclosure. Phew. That was a quick overview. If you want more information, I have an article on my website that goes into more detail. Also down in the description, I'll have a link to that article and also the different products that I have, as well as I did get a coupon code for 10% off this filament dryer. If you wanna make your own filament dry box, this is one of my most popular videos and it comes with free plans. Thanks so much for watching and take care.